Hey everyone, I'm WFA meteorologist Kyle Roberts. I want to bring you a tropical update. Now we're recording this on Saturday morning, August 22nd. So if you're watching a little bit after that, of course, some changes could have happened. But as of right now, I want to bring you the latest on our two tropical systems that we have out there at the moment. What they're going to do as they head into the Gulf of Mexico and the potential impacts that they could have on the U.S. as well. So there are two storms. Let's label them. Go ahead and label them here for you so we can actually talk about those storms at the moment. We got two of them. Both of them are now tropical storms. We have Laura and we have Marco. Laura is there pretty close to Puerto Rico. San Juan is located in Puerto Rico, so pretty close to Puerto Rico right now. And the other one, tropical storm Marco, kind of between the Yucatan Peninsula there, Mexico, and uh, the far western edge of Cuba. We'll talk about those storms in detail now. So Laura, a tropical storm and actually just barely a tropical storm. It has wind speeds of 40 miles an hour, gusting up to around 50 miles an hour, bringing some rain to parts of the uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, then also uh, eventually going to bring some rain to parts of Puerto Rico as well as it continues tracking off to kind of the west and to the northwest there. We also have Marco, a tropical storm. That one a little stronger, wind speeds of 50 miles an hour. Now, to re remember, in order for a storm to become a hurricane, it needs to have winds of at least 74 miles an hour. So we got a ways to go before uh, Marco would be a hurricane, but right now it is a little bit stronger than Laura. And uh, like I said, it is a tropical storm with those wind speeds of 50 miles an hour, gusting to 60, kind of located there between Cozumel, Mexico, and the far western edge of Cuba at the moment. Let's talk about the track of these storms. First, we'll go back to Laura, then we'll come uh, to Marco and talk about the track. Laura, going to move over Hispaniola, which is the Dominican Republic and Haiti, then basically move right over the top of Cuba, eventually entering the Gulf of Mexico sometime early Tuesday of this upcoming week. After that, it may intensify a little bit, potentially becoming a Category 1 hurricane, and then likely making landfall somewhere between maybe Mississippi and the Texas coast, the southeast Texas coast there. Of course, remember, when you're looking at these maps, when you're looking at the cone of uncertainty, what we call it there, I know we have the center line on there, which is you know, kind of our best guesstimate about where that storm's going to track. But in reality, the center of that storm could track anywhere within that cone. That's why we call it the cone of uncertainty. So the center of the storm could move toward the Mississippi coastline, could move toward the Texas coastline. Both of those options would be within that forecast track and would verify this forecast that we have here. So you need to stay alert if you're anywhere along the Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama coastlines at this point as uh, we watch Tropical Storm Laura start to move into the Gulf of Mexico and then the path that it will eventually take. Now, let's go back to Marco. Marco will enter the Gulf a lot quicker because it's pretty close to the Gulf right now. That'll happen sometime probably early Sunday. It'll emerge into the Gulf of Mexico, and then it may take more of kind of a left-hand turn there and head toward the Texas coastline. Now, official forecasts do not have Marco intensifying into a hurricane. It stays a tropical storm as it makes landfall somewhere along the Texas coast. But as I mentioned earlier, remember, it could be anywhere from the Texas-Louisiana border almost down to the Texas-Mexico border there. There's a lot of uncertainty, not only with Marco, but also with Laura as well, with the exact track of these storms, and then also the exact intensity of these storms as well. So those are two things that very much uncertain right now. Anybody saying that they know exactly what's going to happen with these storms is just lying to you because we really don't know. Uh, hurricanes sometimes kind of have a mind of their own and they can intensify very quickly or they could fall apart. So we'll be watching them very closely regardless. Now here, this map I want to show you is kind of an overlay of both those systems as they move into the Gulf of Mexico. I paused it here because this is Tuesday at one in the morning. You can see Laura is somewhere between kind of Florida and Cuba and then Marco is pretty close to the Texas coast there. So we could have two storms in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time, but they're gonna be pretty far apart away from each other, relatively speaking, uh, is the way things look right now. So there's been a lot of talk, the uh, the word Fujiwara has been thrown around a lot. What that means is you know, sometimes, out. usually this happens out in the open Atlantic or open Pacific, you can get two storms that start to spin kind of around each other. Think of like how galaxies will spin around each other. That is highly unlikely with these storms. Looks like they're gonna stay too far apart from each other for that to happen. They could influence each other a little bit, uh, but as of right now, any sort of you know spin around of each other or Fujiwara looks very, very unlikely with those storms. But actually the path of them, they could end up tracking sort of in similar locations at times, 
But once again, I, I just I want you to remember that the exact path and the exact intensity with these storms is still very, very uncertain right now. And there will be a lot of changes to these forecasts as we head through the weekend and into early next week. By the way, we've never had two hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time, at least since we've been watching, at least since we have recorded history here. In 2002, 1959, and 1933, we did have two storms in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time, but both of those storms were not hurricanes. In fact, let me show you this. So in 2002, September 5th of 2002, we had Faye and we had Edward. Both of those storms were in Gulf of Mexico at the same time, but one was a tropical storm and one was a tropical depression. Then back in 1959, we had Tropical Storm 3 and Tropical Storm Beulah. Both of those were in the Gulf at the same time, but they were both not hurricanes, obviously. And then also we had in 1933, we didn't name storms back then, we just gave them numbers. We had uh, Storm 8, which was a Category 3 hurricane, and then Storm 11, which briefly moved into the Gulf of Mexico there, just north of Tampa. Uh, so both storms, not hurricanes. So we've never had two hurricanes in the Gulf at the same time. And we've also never had storms kind of taking similar paths like that as well, like it looks like Marco and Laura are going to take. So Definitely uh, something to keep our eyes on here, and it's already been an active hurricane season. Remember, we're on the M name now, Marco, so we've had 13 named storms. The next one, which I hope is a long time from now, will be called Nana, uh, and that would be the 14th named storm of the year. And by the way, the official forecast for this season has us between 19 and 24 storms. We're already above average now, now that Marco got named, the 13th named storm of the year. That puts us above average for the season. But the season's projected to be very active, 19 to 24 storms, 17 to 11 of which of those become hurricanes, and the three to six of them uh, could become major hurricanes. But like I mentioned, we've already had 13 storms so far, so it's already been a very, very active hurricane season and will likely continue to be one as we head uh, through the rest of the season here. And also, remember, once we, uh, you may not know this, once we run out of names, we go to the Greek alphabet. So we could have storm alpha, beta, that sort of thing. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it could if we you know, keep adding to the uh, storm list here. By the way, the peak of storm season, hurricane season that is, is September 10th. Today is August 22nd, so we still have a ways to go before we even hit the peak of hurricane season here. And that season does end November 30th, by the way. So even after September 10th, remember that's just the peak. So storms can easily happen the rest of September, even into October and November as well. But we do start to decline uh, rather quickly there, especially as we head into November when it comes to that uh, tropical season for you. So we got Marco, we got Laura out there. Both of those are in the Caribbean right now, but Marco will move into the uh, Gulf of Mexico here probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. Laura's going to lag a little bit farther behind, but will likely move into the Gulf of Mexico as well. We're going to continue to keep watching it, all of it for you. Remember, we're going to have these videos for you every day, giving you the latest on what to expect and what's going on with both of these storms. So thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.